Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on X4. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about trading stations. I get the question asked a lot of the time why I bother with trading stations as relay points and why I put them all over the place and restrict them for trading with my own faction and not everybody else. So today I'm going to touch on them answers and hopefully um, clarify why I do them. So the biggest question is why use trading stations at all? The reason for that is when you're using trade ships, each trade ship will generally start off with a low crew skill, unless you buy crew or you find the um, the crew pilot books and stuff like that, and you can you can increase the the stars by that. Generally, it's going to be a low level crew member. That's going to be across your fleet. So that means that your restrictions are going to be across the fleet, where your trade ships. So, for example, if you go to behavior and obviously it's assigned at the moment but if you add it assigned for mining uh, sorry for trading it will be limited to so let's let's uh cancel that let's remove assignment so i can show you local auto trade as you can see here it says find and perform a trade run with a specified were so you have to specify the were without traversing any jump gate or accelerators by the amount of cargo that can be immediately sold to a single buyer sell off current cargo first what that means is it will find a single trade will fill up only that amount that it can def definitely sell and it will then travel from there to there and done that's it it could be 10 of something it could be 100 or a thousand you don't know whereas when you go to we got it from here trade for commander your beta you'll notice now it improves the trade automatically to auto trade now if you didn't know what auto trade was if we remove this it should hopefully show us uh, it's local auto trade it's the advanced auto trade because it's three star if you remember find and perform a trade run with one of the specified words so you still have to specify the word by an amount of cargo that can immediately be sold to a single buyer. So off current cargo first. So it still does that. However, it will now traverse the jump gate, which is what we want. So trade for commander. I will also do the same for mining. So again, trade for commander. Now, as a default, it has maximum gate distance zero zero. Ignore that because there's no words selected. So now I'm thinking to myself, well, hold on a second. Where have I got my station? Second contact seven. Argon Prime. I have already set up my trade, my, my mining station here. And you can ignore the headquarters because I've placed it in the reach for now. And before anybody asks, the reason why it's in the reach is because this is a custom game start and I can choose where I can place my HQ. So the only station I have that I'm using resources is the reach. Now I have a mining ship that can do trades. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my logical overview and go, right, well, I know I can get ore. Confirm. The station is missing the storage type in the current plan. Okay, so we've got container and container storage. We've got no solid storage. So this station will not take ore. As you can see, we've got the warning from the logical overview. So then I'll obviously have to go and get um, a solid storage. Place that on there. And a liquid storage if I wanted to do gases as well. Confirm the module change. Sign or hire a builder. do oh well, won't do because we haven't got enough money so we'll have to wait until we earn some cash that's not a problem we can close that menu for now but that's how i would assign my uh trading for my mineral and then what i would also do which you can't sh i can't show you at the moment is oh it can because i've put the solid in there now that's right yeah so it, it, it allows you to now set everything up I then restrict it to self-trade. 
that means is, is it's only going to buy from my stations and not from the AI. And it means then I'm not going to spend money, technically, on materials that I can already gather. However, I want to sell it to create sell offer and leave the sell offer as is. Automatic pricing is automatic. I'm not worried about that. As this fills up, it's going to sell my materials cheaper because I have more of it, less demand for me, more demand for everybody else. Now, I want to look at where's. Well, hold on a second, I'm, I'm doing ore. So the likelihood is, is I'm going to buy ore in and I can sell it off as well. And then from there, we're going to probably going to get a lot of refined metals. So let's do refined metals. Create a buy offer, create a sell offer. Now, I do automatic pricing because I don't want to micromanage this station. As your manager gets higher in levels, it will offer better pricing and look for better trade deals, and it will tend to not lose you a lot of money. That being said, I'm going to buy it at 206 and sell it at 207. So as we get more material in, so more in, I'm going to offer less money, and I'm going to sell it for less. Now you may be thinking, well, hold on a second, that's going to lose your money. Well, no, because you've only bought it at a cheaper price. So you sell it at cheaper price, and as long as you keep that maintained, which is what the automatic pricing does, you shouldn't lose money. You should actually make money each time. However, the manager at low level can sometimes lose your money, but every trade it does is going to be more improvement on their experience. So now that means these traders can now look to cancel that. That's a failed behavior. Cancel that's a failed behavior. Now, it'll say zero out of zero, and you can see it's not finding any words. Say so that one's now updated to become or. If it does this and you're worried, just remove it. Right click, trade for commander. And you'll notice now it says refined metals. So now it is going to look for refined metals to buy. Remember, it's going to buy and sell that with our own money, and it's going to start off straight away. We don't have production for that, so that's why I would have it as buy and sell. However, if I wanted to then get production going, no matter where I put it in the sectors, I could figure out that actually it's going to probably travel a couple of gates, which is a general rule of thumb. It will do. Even though it says max gates here, zero, zero, they will travel a little bit. Um, I don't understand why it actually says zero, zero. Um, I've had them jumping out of the sectors before now. Um, sometimes they don't though sometimes they do actually stay in the same sector and if that's the case then it's going to do local auto trade until it levels up enough to expand on that which is not a major issue the other thing you can do as well is you can obviously manually do it you can set them up to manually move resources around until you level up your commander will level up pretty quick by doing this which is another great way of getting managers leveled up so these trading stations are great to then put into like defense platforms which will perform better in your defending areas so that's how I set it up. Why do we set it up? Well, as you can see here, the jump gate distance is one, two, three jump gates. That's going to unlock pretty soon for me, which means my ore is going to come to this station here. From here, it's going to have all of second contact 11. It's also going to move one, two, three jump gates. That's actually a highway, so it's not classed as a jump gate. It'll have at least two jump gate differences, distances to that. So you're going to cover all of Black Hole Sun. From the reach to Black Hole Sun, maybe a bit, little bit too far for this one station to manage. Not only that, but that station is then going to run that mineral from there all the way through to here and then all the way back again. That's quite a hefty distance, whereas I realistically want this station here to go into here and sell to here and keep going back and forward and making great sales. Whereas this station here is doing pretty much nothing, so it can send another ship down through here, through here, pick it up, bring it all back down through here. It's then going to sell it to everything in here for anybody who's in here. Any AI that picks up resources as well as they go past. And also another ship may bring it out into here or into here or into here. So you can see how it then expands your availability and it stops you relying on one ship trying to do long journeys and long distances. As you start to build more and more of these stations, as you see I've got one in Black Hole Sun as well, that will then unlock all of this. This now, second contact two would now be covered by three stations. 
So that area there, and Argon Prime as well, it's not too far of a jump for any of them, is going to be heavily covered by all of our stations. So that means that you're going to balance out all of your resources. That means you're not going to have one station with maximum supply, which means it's then selling it really cheap. You're going to have it where it's spread out, and actually it's going to get a better price because they're all going to be half full rather than all completely full, which means it'll sell it for more expensive. Also, you get more potential sales because ships will pass you, and obviously satellites that are deployed will pick up on your trades, and you've got more chance of selling to the AI as well. Now, you may think this is pretty self-explanatory, however, it isn't, because this game actually has a very, very diverse and very complicated economy system. And when it comes to things like this, you can use these relay stations to really boost your sales. And the same thing as what you did with the mining, and if you're not sure what I mean by that, you can check the mining video that I released earlier, is that from a small stage station, you can use small and medium and large ships. Why use both? Well, small and medium don't require drones to make it quicker. They just require a small dock, and they'll dock onto the station, and they'll drop their resources and fly back off again. Yes, you're not going to get much in one go, but if you've got 10 small ships and one large ship, the 10 small ships will keep up with the one large ship. It will also complete smaller trades for you as well, very quickly, rather than having a large trade ship complete a 10 resource order, which is going to take forever to get there. Small ship will do it in half the time and zip back down and get ready for the next trade. Um, also, large ships need the piers. And not every station will have a pier, which means not every station will be available to you for trade. So if you've got one of each size ship, you've got an availability for your small and mediums to dock quite easily. And in most cases they will. And then your large and extra large will have the availability for the piers. So that covers everything, which is basically what you want to do. So hopefully that helps answer the question as to why and the how. If you've got any more questions about trading, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and cover it in another video um, later down the line. Hopefully, it's kind of giving you a little bit of an insight into why I use stations and why they are actually pretty decent to use. They also are great ways of storing resources. You can only carry so much resource in a ship, and if you can't sell it, your ship's going to sit there with them resources on and struggle to sell it. Get it off onto a relay station and then get it back out again mining more resources nice and fast and it's going to keep up with everything else you're going to do and as you then progress and build your production lines later down the line or shipyards and stuff like that and you want to place shipyards in multiple locations they're going to have plenty of stations to get the resources from which are going to build up from now so the sooner you get the trade stations going the sooner you're going to have resources flowing in and then when you're ready you're going to have all the resources you need to then be able to build space stations that build ships and sell for more and also you can start your war. Well, until next time, everybody, take care for now. I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.